Hey everybody, shalom, aloha, good day. I hope you're having a good day. This is Kaneki. I come in the name of the Lord. And this video, I just wanted to uh, discuss and go over just a brief overview of what the body of Christ looks like. Yeah, so the body is going to be the entirety of us, right? It's going to be Christians, Jews, believers in Christ, Hebrews, Janals, just anybody who believes in Christ or the even Yahshua, um, just the family of God, the body of Christ, who believes in the name above all names. We form one family, yeah? And since it's 2018 and there seems to be a lot of conflict and a lot of divisions, I mean, I'm dividing, I should say, in the family, I wanted to just make a quick video to go over some basics and then go over a uh, entire structure that I wrote out and drew of what the body looks like and wanted to see what people thought so just for starters yeah we all know about the kingdom right a kingdom divided um, about upon itself it fails yeah and a kingdom against its or a house against its um, self fails right there's separation conflict it falls and it's a hard heart like a prided heart and a hard head a prided head where you don't want to learn nothing you think you're all the center right and this right here is just like the Tower of Babel, right? They built, 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 and they were so high and mighty, but then when they got to the top, they were hard-hearted, hard-headed, and though they were speaking the same language, they couldn't understand each other because they refused to. There was too much conflict, yeah? Too much pride. And so, since we have one kingdom and it's 2018, and we shouldn't be so archaic anymore, right? We need to start looking at how we can accord ourselves and the trick to that is, it's divisions. Instead of being divided, which is causing separation, divisions means that it's a copacetic unity, right? There's a gothic ship. It's a one-minded, hive-like mind that we each have what the final goal is, the bigger picture is in mind, but we still live according to our own little divisions within the body. The body cannot fight against itself or else it fails, right? And this, when we have divisions, it's a success. So this is you, me, I, and we, right? This is agape ship. And this right here, all this right here will beat out the Tower of Babel, right? And so how do we get divisions? We know, all know about Matthew 21, 42, right? It says, the stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Question mark, right? I wonder how many people always wondered about that, right? Why is it question mark? And what does this even mean, right? The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Question mark? This right here shows that divisions within the body of Christ is okay. It's actually supposed to be marvelous in our eyes. And that right there is where we can all maintain and come together. All these people here, right? Come together, the body of Christ, the family of God, who believe in the name of all names. Go down to the word of truth and know that divisions was actually set for us. So when it says it is marvelous in our eyes, right? Instead of looking at this question mark like sarcastically, marvelous in our eyes, or confusingly, because I just explained it, yeah? Or pridefully, as in marvelous only in our eyes, kind of like that. As one mind, be mystified. Be mystified of this. The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone, and the Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Mystified, yeah? Remember, we're all searching for truth, and we all believe in this truth, and this truth is the Word of God. And th the Word of God is very mysterious. You cannot share in the mind of God. No man can know what comes after him, unless, of course, you have corporealized the Holy Spirit correctly. So, using this structure right here, as the family of God, in divisions, that is successful to everybody, very copacetic. If we can understand the stone the builders rejected has become the capstone, the Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes, and be mystified as one mind 
to want to know what this means, then we can have success. So in the next video, I am going to draw up exactly what I was talking about um, with the body of Christ and the divisions that I found within the, the Word of God um, in John chapter 17, verses 1 through 24. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.